Good morning and welcome to Fowl House. This is a boarding institute at Nelson College for Boys. Seen as though many people have not been to Fowl House, I, James Vinicom, will show you around this great place. Fowl House is full of many bright and intelligent boys, most of them very happy to give a stranger an unknowing hand. Now, if you just come along with us and see what you can find with us. As you can see, Fell House is a brick built building made in 1960 and 1970. Now, the stone wash over here is very, very delicate stuff. As you can see, very, very early 70s. And the grass over here is very, very much. Anyway, Enough of the outside of the house. Let's go see what the pleasures hold inside. Coming to Nelson College with over a thousand students, uh, it's a bit of a shock, you know. Big place, got lost a bit, and uh, yeah, a lot of met a lot of new people, and yeah, it was a great experience. Get to be the boss, and uh, yeah, tell the third forms what to do. Basically run the show, get your own room, beauty, okay. rugby. Okay. Oh, there was occasion in third form where um, I was getting to, uh, put to bed by a seventh former and uh, I didn't like him at the time, so I yelled out of my cube, shitty your homo, and did a big brown eye at him, and uh, looking between my legs, the housemaster was standing there, and uh, quite embarrassing at the time, jumped quickly back into bed, but... He had uh, for sure seen me, and uh, later got gated for two weeks. Me and a fellow, fellow boarding buddy, you might call him, uh, Dwayne. Uh, I was just uh, sitting in my room, and in came this half-naked man, hairy legs, and armed with a can of shaving cream, which uh, he proceeded to spray all over me. So I. Um, of course, as you do, return the favour and came, came out looking like a snowman. Really helped me just uh, develop as a person, especially, you know, getting that shaving cream in the ears, in the nostrils. You think about it at the end of the day and it just made me the man I am. All I can say is uh, I used to cover myself with a toothpaste box. Okay, okay. So, um, what, people come along, open your curtains, that sort of thing? Oh, yeah. Okay. A bit of that, whip, whip the towel off. Here is the showers of Fowl House, and as you can see, it is quite a non-communal place. People uh, come in here all the time and have showers, and generally boys naked and stuff. So, as we can see, Peter here is going into shower three. Before he goes into shower three, he's just going to make sure that nobody's in shower three by saying... Shower three. So there he goes, he goes in there and has a shower. Also in these facilities are sinks and mirrors and also hand wash dispensers. On the other side of this wall right here is several toilets where people can also look. And so there you have it. That is the Fowl House bathroom pretty much down to a point. We've done, done Dave, we've done Megan. Yeah. What have they said? Oh, they do it. They just tell them stories and stuff like that, and we've got to re-enact stories. About two-faced boxes and yeah. two-faced boxes, fences, brown eyes at Mr. Anderson. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh, wait, sort of gear. Oh, wait, yeah, I'll think of. Give me some time to think of something. Alright, okay. Game. We'll be back. Okay. Well, I'm in full form. Um, this guy called Brian Hampton. He uh, bet off on top of the um, wardrobe things. Oh, yeah. He like bet off, and yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and he heaps of cunts were around doing it, it fucking sick. <laughs> I mean, like having a slumber party in a... Uh, oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Were you, were you in that cube at the time? Maybe? No, I wasn't. Oh, OK. Um, so you're the head of house, aren't you? Yep. And so oh. tell us some of the things that you have to do to be head of house. Well, quite frankly, I don't do stuff all. I'm proud to say that I was captain when we won the house sports and the sewing sports all in one year. So it's quite a good achievement. I don't think any house has ever done that. And we're on our way to winning the... Neil Cup, which I'm sure would make Neil proud. That's the house master, is it? the house master. <laughs> oh, okay. Sixth form, you gradually start to go to more parties, more on, and you're not always, yeah, you moved on to beer, you're not always drinking that same old cheap shit. So, sixth form's the next step up. Seventh form, that's great because you got your own room, so. I think first weekend back, as soon as we were here, yeah, as soon as we were here, straight into it. We had the 24 packs around fairly cranked out. Everyone's lockers had the ice bucket and we'll just sit in the middle and drink beer all day. It's good. following are extracts from other incidents inside the boarding institution. Ooh. 